Hi, I will in this video demonstrate how you can use a Python script to calculate distances from armed conflicts event to the capital in the same country. So here we show an arc map with some layers added. We have the geo-referenced event dataset on armed conflict from the Uppsala dataset program. And here I have selected only those events which took place in Africa in 2005. Also is showing the C-shape dataset with boundary as they were in 2005. And also from the C-shape dataset I have made a point feature class of the capitals also from 2005 shown here with red squares. Now the problem is then to calculate geodetic distances from armed conflicts event to the capitals in the same countries. One are unable to use the near functions as that wouldn't guarantee you to calculate the distances from the event to the capital in the same country. It could happen that it calculated distance to the capital in another country. Now, to do this uh, geodetic distance, then uh, I've written a script called geodist to capital. And one of the ways of opening a script is simply by right clicking on it and click on edit with idle. And then it will open, and one is able to look at the script and make some modification. So the script goes down here. In the beginning, we need to import some system models. You can just leave this alone. And we have here declared a constant, which is the radius of the Earth model according to the World Geodetic System from 1984. So these are the radius given in meters here, which is then later used in a formula for calculating the geodetic distances. I put this line here to allow you to overwrite the output. You can delete it if you are afraid of doing so, but this uh, may solve some problem. Next two sentences here, and this is actually the only thing which you need to modify in the script because you have your own data uh, stored uh, with perhaps different path and different uh, names of the feature class as given here. But there are these are the two main in ingredients to calculate the distances. We need a variable here called get, I called it, for the path and the feature class for the armed conflicts event data set for this given year. And you may have a different year. And of course, then your feature class name could be different. Then also the capitals, this is also a temporarily changing uh, event theme, so you may have a different name also here to reflect your year here. So this may you need to change, and these are then line 17 and line 18 as it's referenced down here. Now what the Python script does in the beginning here, three fields here. Um, because in the formula we want the coordinates for both the event and the capital to be stored in the same attribute table. And in the event dataset, if we open this here, we already has latitude and longitude stored somewhere here. Uh, here, latitude, longitude. So we have these coordinates already, but in addition to these coordinates for the event, we want the coordinates for the capital in the same country, stored in the same attribute table. So we add two fields for them here, which later will be filled with coordinates. Then also we need to have a field which stores the geodetic distance, which is then added here. Then there is a function here, which be, will be called, and a function returns a value. And it, this is then the 
uh, from the main program. Uh, it here use what is called update cursors to run through all the row in the gear referenced event data set and then for each row it finds the coordinate of the capital so it will know for each row which event it should calculate the distance to which capital so first it finds the, the longitude coordinates calling x here and then the latitude coordinate calling the y thereafter uh, this is just stored then in the attribute table here and then we run through the uh, gear reference event data set one more time just to populate the formula with the latitude longitude from the, from the two coordinate or from the coordinate pairs first we we have the coordinates from the event data set and then from the capital and then having these from and to coordinates transformed to radians we are able then to put them into the formula and calculating the geodetic distance and here is then the far formula for the geodetic distance implemented here in the python script so here comes the uh, constant declared uh, in the beginning of the script and this then do do the math lots of trigonometric uh, functions here then this is then stored to the actual uh, row in the table and it's been repeated for all rows in the attribute table